Andrew Clay here with andrewclay.com, and in this video we're continuing to work on silk whirling exercises. The previous video demonstrated the first exercise that we've done in this series so far that integrates the whole body. It connects what's happening with the lower body with what's happening with the upper body. In this video we're going to take a little bit of a step back. We're going to learn a new pattern for the upper body, and then in the next video we're going to learn how to connect that with the lower body. The previous two videos were really focusing on the outward wheeling of the arm. So it was just working on the outward spiral that we practiced when we were working with the arms, just spiraling. And we turn that into a full motion with the arm, adding a circular motion to the spiral. Now you notice in that exercise that we had an outward spiral up top, but we also had an inward spiral at the bottom of the movement. This is flipping that on its head. So we're going to have an inward spiral at the top and an outward spiral at the bottom of this movement. So the movement that it's named after is the movement that's done at the top, but it's going to include, just like the last one, both an inward and outward spiral. So we can start this movement the same way that we started the previous exercise, and that's just with an arm extended to the corner. Again, relaxed, good structure through the body, good frame, all the things that we talked about in previous videos in this series should be present. And as you do this exercise, what you want to imagine is find the lower belly and the lower dantian, which we've talked about in other videos and other series. And what you want to do is from there, draw the spiral in from the arm. So we have the spiral motion, and as we did just the spiral motion, so we have outward spiral and we have inward spiral, right? So this inward spiral is what we're working with. It's the spiral with the hand going kind of forward, more to the front of the body, up over the top, and then back toward the back of the body. So it's this spiral, and it draws in as it happens. So from here, we're gonna do the same spiral, but we're gonna add Kind of to a square first and then we'll turn it into more of an oval or a circle. So from here we're going to do the inward spiral as we come across toward the other corner. So we're starting at this top corner, we're going to come across, then we'll drop it down and we'll come back across and then get back to where we started. So with this we do our inward spiral coming across to this corner. So that's our first corner that we're going to after the starting corner. The next corner that we go to we're starting our outward spiral as the hand comes down. And this is where you're pushing back from the lower belly, from the lower dantian, up the spine, out through the arm. So this is that outward spiral feeling. So we've gone in, we're gonna spiral out, and then back across. And then from here, we're gonna start the spiral coming up. Now, as you do this, you're not gonna go back to this exact same posture. It's gonna change a little bit, but we can start there. So what you wanna do is from here, as you come up, you're starting to turn the hand so the thumb is more up. And then as it comes across, it's gonna level out so the palm is up. So let's work on this again. That might've been a little confusing, so let's go through it again. Starting here, spiral in as the hand comes across closer to the left shoulder. Spiral out as the hand drops down. Continue the outward spiral as the hand comes back across to the right side of the body. Now we're gonna start that inward spiral, coming back up to this top corner. We're gonna continue the inward spiral coming across to this other top corner, start the outward spiral, going down to the bottom corner, and continue the outward spiral as the hand comes across over to the right side of the body. And then from here, we're gonna start that inward spiral coming up. Now notice as this is coming up, if I stop here, if I extend my wrist, then I'm basically in that same starting spot. It's just we're not coming up and extending the wrist and then going into this. We're just coming up, the wrist stays fairly straight, and then we continue that inward spiral across. So that's the arm. You can add a little bit of the waist to it with this one, but again, we're keeping the lower half of the body pretty still for this and just maintaining good structure there. So let's do it together. We're gonna put the right hand out to that corner, spiral in, coming across, palm turns up. Spiral out, coming down, continue the outward spiral, going back across. Start the inward spiral, coming up, continue the inward spiral, coming across, start the outward spiral, going down, continue the outward spiral, going across, and start the inward spiral, coming up, okay? So pretty straightforward. We have two sections of inward spiral. It's coming up inward spiral, coming across inward spiral. Two sections of outward spiral, going down outward spiral, coming across outward spiral. Let's repeat this exercise on the left side, and then we'll do a couple repetitions on both sides just for a chance to kind of go through and practice and get the feel for it before you go practice on your own. So you can put your right hand on your right hip. Left hand now goes out to the left corner. It's gonna spiral in, so the palm is going to turn up, and the thumb is gonna go up over the top and toward the back. So from here, 
spirals in as you come across. From here, it's going to spiral out as it drops down, continue to spiral out as it comes across. From here, it starts its inward spiral as it comes up, continues its inward spiral as it comes across, outward spiral coming down, and outward spiral coming across. Inward spiral, inward spiral, outward spiral, outward spiral. Okay? So as you in as you do the inward spiral, so starting here, you're drawing, you have the the imagery or the intention of drawing that spiral in through the arm. And as it's coming in through the arm, it's being drawn down to the lower belly or to the lower dantian. So you have this inward spiral, inward pull going on from the lower dantian. So the pull is coming from here and it's drawing this in. So that's from here, you start this inward spiral, drawing in at the lower dantian, drawing in here. Now you have the push out from the lower dantian coming out through the arm. So you have the push, an outward spiral expanding through the arm as the arm drops down and as it comes across. So draw in, expand out. Now I'm just going to go through several repetitions of this and give you the opportunity to follow along. And we're going to do about five repetitions on each side. So go ahead and extend one arm out to the corner on the same side of the body as the arm. So I'm using my right arm, so I'm going to go to the right corner. Spiral in, coming across the body. Spiral out, going down and back across the body. Spiral in, coming up. Continue the inward spiral across the body. Spiral out, going down. And continue the outward spiral going across the body. Spiral in. Spiral out. Draw the spiral in toward your lower dantian. Push the spiral out from the lower dantian. Spiral in. Spiral out. Spiral in. Start the inward spiral, and here you can just settle the wrist and finish like we started. Now we're going to switch sides. So the other arm comes up. I'm using my left arm, so I'm going to the left corner here. I'm going to put my right hand on the hip, extending out to the corner, spiral in as the arm comes across the body, spiral out as it drops down, and continue the outward spiral as it comes across. Inward spiral, inward spiral, outward spiral, outward spiral, inward spiral, inward spiral, outward spiral, outward spiral. Draw the spiral in toward the lower dantian, continue to draw it in, expand the spiral out from the lower dantian, and continue to expand out. In, across, out, across, bring my hand up to the corner, and settle the wrist where we started. If you're having trouble feeling the spiral as you're going through that, go back to the previous video where we just worked on these spirals, right? Remember the spiral motion is just this rotation through the arm, expanding out and drawing in, right? Don't worry about the lower dantian at first. If that's too confusing, 
just focus on the rotation of the arm with the intention of spiraling out and the intention of spiraling in. Then, as you become aware of the lower dantian, you can use exercises like the standing post qigong. Watch my series on that, and that will help you find your lower dantian and get more of a feel for where it is, so you can start to apply it in your silk reeling. As you become more aware of the lower dantian, and you begin to build up that useful awareness of how it's located and how it helps you move, then as you do this exercise drawing in, draw in from the lower dantian, spiraling in the arm. From there, push from the lower dantian, spiraling out the arm. After you start to fill those spirals, you can come back to this motion and remember this inward spiral here is what we're working on mainly in this movement. It's the top part of the movement, inward spiral. And all we're doing is instead of doing this part here, what we're doing is once we get here, we're starting that inward spiral coming up. So that's this part of the movement, right? So about here. And then that last part of the movement where the hand turns palm up is after we're here and we do that inward spiral and we're just bringing it across the body as we do the inward spiral. So it's this motion, but it's done here and here. And then the outward motion is done here and here. So you can go back to those earlier videos. You can work on just the spirals, get those spirals. Come back to this video and add a circle to that same spiral motion. So it comes across, it drops down, it comes across. And you're doing this with the arm instead of just this with the arm. Again, if you have any questions about this movement, please put them in the comments below. I appreciate you taking the time to practice this movement and learn this movement with me today. If you got something out of this video or just enjoyed watching it, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and also consider becoming a supporting member for this channel to help ensure that more videos like this will be made available in the future. Stay safe and healthy out there, and as always, thank you for watching.